Ask any expert about which weapon you should use for home defense, and by far the most common answer is going to be a shotgun. Preferably a 12 gauge, or if you don't like that recoil, consider a 20 gauge. But overwhelmingly, most experts will agree that the best home defense weapon is a shotgun. Personally, I've had a lot of problems with this, probably because I shoot a rifle a lot more than a shotgun. And I've always been very concerned about where every projectile would go if I shot a shotgun inside my home trying to defend my family or my home. So what we're going to do today is look at using a shotgun and seeing what kind of dispersion pattern we get at very close range in the typical home defense. Now I've heard and read that in a shotgun just roughly you can guess that you get about one inch spread for every yard of distance. But that really is not a very meaningful number when it comes to protecting yourself or your family. We're also going to be looking at what's called a hostage rescue shot. That is a head shot, a very high precision shot. And that's what I want to be comfortable with. So what we're going to do today, we've got the Remington 870, which is one of the classic shotguns, pump action shotguns. And it's probably one of the more common shotguns in the United States. Um, and this has a cylinder bore. That basically means that there's not a choke, okay? Then we're gonna use the Benelli M4. This is a semi-automatic shotgun. And this has a M, or a modified cylinder. Uh, and this is a moderate or a medium degree of choke. And so I wanted to compare this. It's an 18 and a half inch barrel. Um, and so we'll compare these two shotguns. The ammunition that we're gonna be using is this law enforcement ammunition. 12 gauge, double aught buck. And this has the flight control wad. It's supposed to help keep a very tight uh, pattern with the shot. So we're gonna be testing this particular ammo in these two shotguns. And then for me, my control is gonna be my home defense rifle. This is 6.8 SPC. And so I'm gonna use this in comparison to the shotguns to see how clean of a shot we can get. Once again, we're gonna be using a very close range We'll see what kind of patterns we get, and then we'll decide whether we need to go further or closer depending on how the shot do. We're gonna use a seven yard, 21 foot range. And what we've got is three targets set up. I'm gonna shoot with the 870, which has the cylinder bore. Then I'm gonna shoot the second target with the Benelli M4, the M choke, and then we'll use the rifle for the third shot. And we're gonna try headshots in all of these to see how we can do. So we're gonna start with the Remington 870 cylinder bore, double aught buck with the flight control wad. Home Defense Rifle 6.8 SPC. Ow. I think both of these pass my test, which would be that I wouldn't want anything below the chin in case this guy is holding one of my family members as hostage. I'd want to be able to have a clear shot. This is at 21 feet, seven yards, which would probably be as far as you're going to get uh, in a home defense scenario. And you can see uh, basically one hole with the 870 cylinder bore and a small group with the Benelli M4M and then my shot. Okay, so we did a seven yard shot with the shotguns and with my home defense rifle. We got pretty good groups. We're going to look and uh, talk about those a little bit more at the end. What we've done now is we've moved two more yards back. We're at nine yards, 27 feet. And in most houses, this would be the absolute furthest you should be shooting. And I think that this will give us the maximum um, spread or dispersion that we should be seeing. So we'll do the same three guns now, an 870 cylinder bore, the M choke and the Benelli M4, and then my rifle. 
Now I want to say also with my rifle, I already know that up close, uh, I have to aim about two inches higher, and I know that the round should hit about two inches below where my red dot is. I pulled the shot, but still hit the head on the first shot. So with the shotguns, I'm aiming directly at the point of aim, um, and with the rifle, I'm aiming about two inches higher than I want the bullet to hit. So what we're going to do here is we're going to shoot at the center of mass, the red dot at the center of mass. I'm not going to do a headshot again, but then we'll be able to see uh, where we're hitting um, compared to where we're aiming. So we're aiming at the center of mass. Okay, let's go. So now we're going to come in and look at the targets. But there's the wadding. And with the shotguns, with both shotguns, I'm aiming right at the center of mass red dot. And you can see this flight control wadding here. Very big wadding. And basically, all of the shot are still in one group. It's just one big hole. Here with the Benelli M4, the interesting thing is, here's the wadding. That might hurt your hostage, but it probably wouldn't injure them seriously. But it's going to hit your hostage if they're six inches below. But, very interestingly, aiming right at the X, you get a little bit larger pattern. Remember, this is at nine yards. The very absolute most you should be shooting in a home defense situation. And then here is my uh, rifle. Okay. Now, interestingly, the difference between the cylinder bore, which has absolutely no choke, I think this is letting the wadding, the special wadding, do its job and keep a very tight group. And here, where you have a choke, um, the, the groups is actually, the group is actually larger um, and I suspect that it's somehow uh, the choke is hitting the wadding and maybe interfering with the function of the wadding a little bit. And so you actually get a little bit bigger pattern rather than a smaller pattern. For the last part of our shotgun home defense test, we're using a different round. This is still the, free, the, uh, the Federal Premium. It has the uh, special wadding, um, controlled flight wadding. But this is number one buck. And this round has 15 buckshot in it. They're smaller, 15 shots. And so what I'm going to do here, we're still at the 9-yard distance, so 27 feet. I've got two rounds in each shotgun. So I'll take a center of mass and headshot with each gun at 9 yards. Okay, let's come in and look at the target. This is the Remington 870. This is again a number one buck, 15 shot at nine yards. Now, this is me just not being used to a shotgun. Uh, the main thing we want to look at here is the pattern. And I'm very impressed. This is 15 pellets and essentially one large hole with the Remington 870. And here we have the Benelli. This is the shooting right for the uh, center of the head, and you can see that's uh, a larger pattern, but um, very tight pattern at 27 feet. This is the wadding that made that big hole here. Um, th both of these are just waddings uh, tearing the hole, but the patterns, you can see the shot right here. So this basically, that's the pattern for the center of mass and the pattern for the head shot. 
Um, this is the pattern for the center of mass and for the headshot, the wadding hit here and here. This is the wadding right here. We tested Federal's flight control wad ammunition in a Remington 870 and Benelli M4 shotgun and compared it to how uh, comfortable and accurate I felt with my home defense rifle. I want to talk about uh, one of the surprises that we found and that was when you had any choke at all you actually had a wider dispersion of shot using the flight control wad ammunition from Federal. And so I wanted to look at the patterns. I've had time to think about that a little bit and we'll talk about what we think is going on. And then what I've done, I was much more accurate with the Benelli as far as shot placement, um, but the groups were larger and the wadding was separating significantly compared to what we saw with the cylinder bore in my Remington 870. So I've uh, ordered some cylinder choke tubes uh, to go in the Benelli M4. We'll take the Benelli back out and we'll do some testing and see uh, what kind of pattern we get when we eliminate the restriction with the M choke that comes standard on the Benelli M4 and see if it matches the type pattern that we saw with the Remington 870 with absolutely no choke at all. So let's look at the pictures and we'll talk about what I think might be going on. So here are four of the targets that we shot uh, with the shotguns. Um, the two on the bottom, this is the Benelli M4. This was with double lock buck at nine yards. And what you see, we did a, a headshot and a center of mass shot. And with the headshot, the grouping of shot were very close right here. And then the wadding hit right here. And this is at nine yards. And then the center of mass, very nice, very accurate, in a small group. But then the wadding actually struck the target down here, a good uh, probably seven or eight inches low. And so the wadding had significantly separated, and the shot had spread out this much at nine yards compared to double up buck out of the Remington 870 with no choke, a cylinder bore nine yards and here you can see this is the wadding and then the group is just one mass of shot and this is at nine yards so the wadding was very close to the group of uh, shot and the shot were still very tightly packed and then same thing this is the uh, Remington 870 headshot and here is just one hole the wadding and the shot went through one hole compared to the Benelli M4, where you see the wadding hitting sideways right here, and then still a fairly tight group, but significantly different than what we saw with no choke at all. And then we used the smaller buckshot, the number one, this is number one buck at nine yards with the Remington 870. Once again, there's a very, very tight pattern in the center of mass shot and the head shot, you can actually see the wings of the flight control. There's a little shape of the wings from the wadding and then all of the shot. And this is with number one buck. This is 15 shots. And here we go with the Benelli M4, number one buck shot at nine yards. Once again, you know, a, a very nice tight group, but significantly larger. And then the wadding is hitting over here and the wadding for the headshot is hitting that far away from the buckshot. This is 15 shots. Once again, is very accurate in a very small group, but still significantly different than the one hole that we were seeing without a choke. And so what I've been thinking about, and here's the, here's the ammunition, there's the packaging. You can see a little likeness of the flight control wad. And so uh, what I think is happening is that the choke, if there's any choke at all, will slow down that wadding. The wadding is really designed to come out of the barrel with the shot still in place and um, slowly and gradually release the shot uh, so that the shot stay in a tighter pack as opposed to typical wadding, which is basically just intended to blow the shot out of the end of the barrel and then quickly stop and release the shot. 
And so I think because we're uh, artificially slowing down uh, the flight control wadding, we're separating the wadding early and we're getting a pattern that looks like that rather than one hole or a pattern that looks like this rather than one hole. And more significantly, or just as significantly for me, the wadding is staying very close at the home defense ranges and the wadding is separating significantly so you don't really have control of that and it's not a, a critical factor but it is a factor if you want to have very precise damage from the end of your gun. So what we're going to do is we'll do a follow-up video. Uh, we'll see uh, how this changes when we uh, remove the M choke and put a cylinder uh, choke tube in the Benelli M4 and then we'll do a follow-up so keep an eye out for that. Hope you enjoyed our little review of uh, 12 gauge home defense shotguns and the different rounds. Uh, we shot at both seven and nine yards. I was very impressed with how tight the groups were. So for the uh, Remington 870, if this is what you've got and use for home defense, if you use the flight control wadding, very tight groups up to nine yards. We've documented today. You can see this is double up buck at nine yards. Hope you enjoyed it and we'll see you next time. That's fun. <laughs> okay, turn it off.